up people this is fluffy bunny vivo and android and today i have the top 10 best apps for you guys hope you guys enjoyed the intro and before we get started here are the top instagram pictures of the week hashtag that's vivo android if you want your picture to be in my next video make sure to hashtag as vivo android i'll check it out if i like it i'll put it on my next video and like always before we get started if you guys enjoy these videos make sure to leave a like below show me that you guys enjoy them motivates me to make more videos thank you guys so much and let's get started with the top 10 apps here's a quick glimpse at the top 10 apps first one is called click counter and all it does is it counts for you using your volume rocker so every time I press my volume button up it goes up if I press it down it goes down I love this app so much because it just feels better than using the on-screen buttons to count you can press it as fast as you can and it'll still count when you click it you just with the sound it feels really good so this app does really simple and really useful the next app is called taskbar windows 8 if i enable this right here it'll automatically come up with the icon right there i don't know if you guys can notice it it's right there i'll drag it back down and if i click it it's gonna come up with a taskbar just like windows and if you guys can see in the bottom here's my recent apps if i hold down on them it'll delete them and if i look through the menu right here here's all my apps i can just click one i got my brightness controls right here and my toggles right here i can jump straight to settings from right here and i can search an app that i want so i search youtube and it comes up right here as youtube and then if i click settings it'll come up with the settings really quick wherever you are you can just press it i'm on the youtube app and and then you can come up with any app you want click it it launch you to that app the next app is called more shortcuts and with this app you can make shortcuts on your home screen of applications and not just applications as in just the app but like within the app so like what i mean by this is that if you want to make a shortcut to your camera you can make a shortcut to a certain effect for your camera not just the camera itself so when you click it it'll launch you straight to that certain effect or a certain setting that you want to go to another shortcut that you can do is content shortcut so i'll choose a song right here so i just chose a song and then i'll press ok put it on my home screen and if i go back now there's a headphone icon this is audio if i click it it's gonna start playing my song that i chose and if you have a custom launcher like nova launcher etc if you hold down on you can edit it and then edit the name from right here you can also do a video shortcut that will take you straight to your video gallery and start playing a video so check it out there's a lot of shortcuts that you can do on your home screen to certain contacts and much more the next app is called toucher and this app i just enabled it if you guys can see that circle right there if i click it it's gonna come up with this menu it comes up really nice i like the way it's animated it comes up with all these toggles and if I click favorites I can add my favorite apps right here any app that I want these are the default apps if I click the next one it's gonna give me all these toggles my volume alarm volume and everything straight from right here and it just looks really really good you can launch this from wherever you are on your phone and then the next one is your weather panel and I can click home it'll take me straight home from on a certain app the cool thing about this is that you can customize it and get themes for it if you launch the app for it you see that all these themes come for it and you can just download them and then install them really simple nothing to it and you can even change the pointer icon that's the circle right there you change it to one of these they have a bunch of them right here and it changes right away no loading and you can even customize it to your own likings your own colors on the theme you don't have to download it you can make your own so make sure to check this app out really useful the next app is called finger just finger basically it's that circle right there if you guys could see it it's right there now i can move this around and if i hold it it'll make it disappear if it's in the way so i'll just click it and it came up with this gray screen now this stays there wherever you are on your phone through any app and then I'll just make a gesture and it'll launch me to an app. Now the cool thing about this is that if you're on a certain app and you want to go to another app, so let's say I'm on YouTube and then I want to go to Instagram really quick, I'll just click it and I'll make my gesture for Instagram and I'll launch me straight to it. I don't have to go all the way back home looking for the app and taking it. I can just make my own gesture for any certain app that I want and it'll take me straight to the app from wherever I am. If this circle bothers you, and you still want to use the app you can just hold down on the circle and then it'll be moved and then it says finger pointer is over here so when you drag your notification down you can just click this and it'll come back right up right here so for instance if you're watching the video it's in the way you can just move it and then take it out as soon as you're done now you can add as much gestures as you want right here you can just press add gesture and make your own custom gesture for any app that you want the next app is called i'm not sure i mean i i can't read chinese 
and this app is written in Chinese. So, this app is basically one of those co Chinese comic, I guess, comic books thingies. I don't know how to say, I mean, I can't really read anything about this app, it's all in Chinese except the menus right here. So I'll just take a picture from my gallery. You can add stickers on top of this picture, like comic stickers, so I'll just add this. I can resize it, put it right there, I can move it to my own liking, and I can put more on top. There's so much to go through. I can put this on top, kind of like a broken wall. Like right there. I can put a text, so I'll just put VLA for Viva La Android. Now the only flaw about this app is that once you have one in front of it, even though it's see-through from right here, you can't actually move this one. It moves the one on top of it. Now that's really confusing because if I move this on top and then I try to bring this back, I can't. So unless I move them at the same time like this. That's the only flaw I found in this app. And you can just save the picture right there loads and then takes a picture for you. The next app is called Famigo. What this app does is it makes your phone locked and playable for kids. So what I mean by locked is that it basically it changes the entire home screen and launcher for your phone once you give it to a kid. But once you take it back you can just put a password and it'll unlock. So when you first take it you get to choose how old the kid you're giving it to is. So I'll just give it to a teen, 13 through 19. I can create a password. And you have to enable it as always. And now your phone is locked to do only this. And now it's only on this home screen. If I click the home screen, you see it's like disabled and I can't go home. If I hold down on the power button, it won't let me turn off the phone. It won't let me access these settings with the power button. Even if I hold my home button to see the recent apps, it won't let me. If I do this from right here to launch another app, it also won't let me. There's paid apps right here, don't worry, they can't buy them. They can only add it to the wish list, which you can come back and look at from right here. And then once you get your phone back, you can press the settings icon right here and press unlock. Put in your passcode and now it's unlocked. And you can go through and put which apps they can use and if it's access to the internet or not. So like I can put the internet browser and I can disable the internet for it and just troll with them. <laughs> The next app is called One Browser. This browser is actually my default browser now because of how much I've been using it. I really enjoy it. Now right off the bat you can see that this browser is full screen. No notification bar, no search bar, no settings bar right here. The only icon that you get is this icon right here which brings up URL bar so you can put a new URL or whatever you want to do. You can exit the full screen right here and I'll just go home to show you guys the interface of it. It comes up with these icons like apps but they're websites. You can add your own. If you're on a website and then if you add the favorites icon right there, you can add it to speed dial. So that's the thing I just showed you right there with the icons. Or you can add it to the desktop. And I actually have a couple right here on the desktop and then you can name them. So once you click it, it'll take you straight to the website. If I press menu, I can go to night mode. And now this is set up for nighttime. Adjust the brightness and then it changes all the whites to black and then all the whites to like grays. And it puts like a galaxy up here and just it's really, really calm colors. And then if you want to save a certain page, you can also save the page as a picture. You can save it as just this or you can save the entire page all the way down and I'll save it as a picture so if I press capture the whole picture if I press capture the whole page you'll see it'll save it as the whole web page and you can go view it as a picture and read it later or you can send the picture to a friend now if you want to go to the downloads section you got downloading and then downloaded there's also a file manager you can also play what you've downloaded so I have a couple songs right here if I click it it'll automatically stop playing the next app is called app elevate and this app gives you one free app a day a lot of these apps are free and some of them are actually they cost money but it gives it to you for free because the app developers sometimes let the app go away for free for a certain day this app lets you get it for free. It tells you when that day is, it puts it over here, and you can just download it for free using the Google Play Store. Really simple app, nothing to it, just this page. It gives you one new game a day. The next app is called Slice HD. So with this game, you're gonna be finding yourself using new techniques and new strategies to pass through the levels of this game. So with this game is that you can see there's blades right here. I can actually move it. If you move it all the way, it'll actually lock for like a second and then come back. You have to actually slide them out of the way. Click the red button. You have to make your way to the red button. Now it gets really, really hard. So for this one, they actually lock if you go all the way back. 
So I'll lock them and then click this. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed these apps. Here's the comment of the week. If you guys want to be in my next video, make sure to comment below. If you comment on this video, I'm actually going to reply to a bunch of comments in this video. I want to reply to you guys. I want to talk to you guys. You know, you guys are subscribed to me. You know, just comment below. I'll reply to you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave me a like. If you got an Android, make sure to subscribe. And like always, Android for life. Peace. And I take back what I said last. Not girl, you know I didn't mean that. It was bad when you came and get things back. Wanna come close, not even with a tic tac. So I sit back and I relax. Think about when I used to really feel that. Now my heart lights up like a lit sack. And my body burns down like a zigzag. It's all burned down, now it's ash on the floor. Tears in my eyes when you walk out the door. Said a few words, but it could have been more. One on one last kiss, but I couldn't be sure. Look, I know you don't wanna leave this place. Really messed up, but you don't need space. Take that step, I don't start the chase. And my thoughts unwind like a loose tied lace. And I miss you, wanna kiss you. Other night.